hello there in this video we're going to use the photo maker in comfy ui to create images based on just one single portrait we input but before we start going hands-on we need to install some prerequisites some um, models and everything as well let's look how it's work what does it make it a little bit different and of course all links to all these resources will be provided down below in descriptions be sure to check them right here is a papers and you can see when you import one portrait realistic it will take this portrait and will apply with other images of course let's have an interesting um, examples and overall here's an abstract how its method work you have an image going to encoder we'll process it using diffusion model and after we'll apply it so it's, technically it should post to work like a group image of face swapping but from my experimenting it's work slightly different it's actually more immersing it's not just take a face and slap over kind of things what i feel, feel in group sometimes happening it's actually like a laura almost embedded inside the model and once generated and it's plus and minuses the plus it's much more embedded the portrait but minus sometimes have a little bit deviation from original photos but when we look closer you'll see what i mean and right here is a method okay we have it also reconstruction going on and kind of nice examples you can go over look how it's work with specific stylizations and everything and i think it actually come with different stylizations like pixar like disney style or um you can see photorealistic cinematic so it's come with all these different styles you can apply it which is make much more interesting and more fun to work with this before we install any lore and models you want to be sure you have a manager installed on your comfy ui if you're not familiar with comfy ui and you want to know more how to install comfy ui and how to install manager please watch my previous videos about this subject and i will again provide link below or i think it will be somewhere in a corner pop up there so you can click and watch if you not yet install it i will highly recommend for you if you're using comfy ui to have it manager install what this allowed us to do it's install missing custom nodes and this is very important because when we take workflow put it in our screen some menus may come up and not find but if you're using install missing nodes this will help you from spend a lot of time go find put it in the right right places and do all the stuff so it's much easier and faster to do keep in mind that some of the custom nodes will require to restart, restart your server over again okay so after you install this now we can start working first what we want to do we want to be sure the custom nodes what we have right here the photo makers they actually need to be installed in your uh, folder i say we can do with the uh, also manager or or it's going to be end you need to go inside your i'm using stable matrix so uh, you can use it just comfy ui by itself install it but you'll notice you have it your comfy ui folder inside there you need to go inside the custom nodes and launch from custom nodes you need install repository to install repository you'll just same can navigate to the place and you can see right here i have a stable matrix packages comfy ui custom nodes and you can just run this command which says git clone and path for the photo maker plus photo maker plus plus it's in your because it's official support with a comfy ui now after this you should have it this new folder appearing inside your comfy ui which it says photo maker plus and we can go inside and look you may have a different versions and this is kind of different flavors of this i did install it i'll show you in a second if this has happened when you install for example from um manager so for example plus i was installing directly from github with my git command right here and another one was installed from manager so whatever you prefer 
which way it will prefer working it's work just fine next we also need downloaded couple models and just as we in this place the models depend on location usually it will go inside the model path and you can put it some will go inside your stable diffusion folders and some will go inside your loras in my case i have a global installation so it's one very local and right here you can see we have it some loras installed here and inside the stable diffusion because i'm using stability matrix this is shareable libraries between all different installations by the way if you're not familiar it's just very fast mention stability matrix it just interface that allowed me to launch all these different type of the flavors uh, stable diffusion like stable diffusion automatic 11 11 or uh, focus or um can and all these different types i can launch just from one interface it's have it plus and minuses to use this but it's very easy simple single click literally single click installations and after this it just help you up keep and manage them i do like this interface i will provide also link down below for you to check more on this it's have a different versions of the photo makers in implementations we look on one that's comfy for the America show and you saw this installation and if you go in this link you can see right here have some examples what are you interested in it is in some models we'll look in a second but most important you're interested in right here this JSON files it's a workflow they allowed you just simple drag and drop on the surface service of the um, our company UI interface which will open this kind of nodes and it's much easier to work with these workflows as well it will highlight in red if you don't have it any node available so if you're missing some custom nodes then in this case again you will go to manage and click install missing nodes and that should install it after this you do need to install uh, restart your server so those nodes will be reread and registered properly additional instructions written if you want to follow them i will provide below and right here comfy ui photo maker plus if you scroll down right here will help you as well install directly with the git it's what i was showing before and also you can install from managers as well if you go and clip it down there you'll notice it's have a link to the models and let's overall i found some models was missing from the examples so i'll show you all of those models one you probably want to if you don't have it install real vx excel version 3 this is we'll use it in our workflow and you can notice right there we have it the base model right here one model we also have a tensor arc for the maker one other ones and we have it the laura excel more artful so this is kind of one two three different models we're using and of course then if we look back this is will be on one model this one will be another models as well you will also need to install photo maker version one bin inside your stable diffusion model and in case if you're missing this loader this will be another one excel more artful so here's plenty of stuff you want to download to be sure it's working but all links will provide there and you can just copy and put it in in right place if some of them will be missing then when you start running your application you click q prompt so run your q you will have an error just look on this error and it's tell you specifically what missing and where is missing so in this case if for some reason you put it some of the libraries in the wrong areas you can move them and place it where applications ex is expecting them to be located that is about all it's very easy to do after you restart your server reload the ui and you should have it well, let's reload it you should have it simple application so let me show you some minuses and withdraw what i found out one of course you need to select your file you want it and limitations even said on a website it's pre-trained to specific uh, facial characters so not everything will work but majority should be okay and when you put it in a prompt this trigger word is very important so be sure you have it 
IMG or image short there. Like for example, a woman image, this is trigger word combination that is required for this specific workflow. So you want to have it this. Next, I have it RTX 3090 with a 24 gigabyte RAM. And if I run on batch size four, it's actually break down. So it's even I have it enough memory, something going on there wrong, and it says I run out of memory. Um, it's kind of very you know, strange things happen, but it's what it is. And without me digging down in Python and see actually what is happening out of hand, I'm just reducing my batch size. So if for some reason you have this error come up, take your batch size and reduce maybe to even one or two. But right, this is batch size example. And down below, you can see width in height. Right now, it's 1024 by 1024. You can also try to reduce those sizes if you want it. In a prompt stylizer, of course, we have it our prompt, we have it our negative prompt, and below we have it our styles. So if you click down, you can see right here we have it all these different styles. And at the time of the testing, if I select no style, it's actually break. Um, Comfy UI and I will need to restart the server. So something still, remember, it is always living, always in developing and uh, not always <laughs> stable. And this is price to pay for the latest technology, everything. Also, you can try experiment with different models. See if they work a little bit better for you. Okay, but you want probably keep it your adapter the same for the maker. It's what we wanted. And right here is our bin. Again, that if it's did not find, be sure you put it in right location. Another things also sometimes when you download it like Excel more artful, it's downloading as dash V1. And if you don't pay attention or did not select, it's give it error and says I cannot find this file. You maybe says I just downloaded this file why you cannot be why you cannot find be sure you pay attention to specific naming in some cases you maybe want to delete this b1 addition to the name so it will comply with example okay we have it verification on um so we need to pay attention on sizes because we can run out of memories and names of the models or lower or other checkpoints that we are currently using so those are the important things after you're done with this, you can go ahead and experiment. Most time, if you just press Q, and after a short time, it should generate it. If we look on faces, I see the eye similarity in some face expression, so it looks somewhat similar. But like I said before, to me, it's still, you know what, a group sometimes stronger representation of exactly the same face versus photo maker. But you know what, how about you try to install this, play around and let me know. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer Roop or you prefer Photomaker? Which one is work, work better for you and which one you think give it a little bit more flexibility? Well, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting, subscribing and sharing video. Have a great day.